Everybody wants to be rich, no doubt. Nonetheless, not everyone is willing to take the necessary steps. The steps may sound easy, but it takes discipline to keep to them. And that is what most people lack. These 10 steps have been carefully collated from studies of the lives of many rich men. Diligence to them is all that is needed for you to be rich. If you're an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we specially invite you to join our motivational channel which was designed to give you daily inspirations so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. 1. Desire Wealth The first key to getting anything in life is to want it. Before you can go through the other steps, you must first greatly desire to be rich. Without an intense passion for success, your mind will not be properly fixed. In the book, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill affirms that the starting point of all achievements is desire. Weak desire brings about a weak result, just as a weak fire causes weak heat. Desire prepares your mind for the other task needed to become rich. 2. Use affirmatives. Did you know that affirmations can have a mind-blowing influence in your personal life, career, health, health, mental well-being, and your relationship with others? Well, now you know. There is a connection between the words you say always and your subconscious mind. Affirmations are needful as they help continually set your subconscious mind for riches. When you continuously speak positive words, your subconscious is automated to think about wealth, even amid challenges. Get a plain sheet of paper and write down your wealth desires with positive language. Place that paper by your bedside and recite those words at least twice daily. 3. Learn something and be good at it. Get educated, formal and informal. Just get knowledgeable in a specific field and put in your best effort. It's not just about learning. There are many people who are skilled in the area you are. Thus, you need to be unique and exceptional in your field. 4. Get jobs to learn. In as much as you aspire to be an entrepreneur, you also need to get jobs in places where you can acquire relevant soft skills. If you want to be rich, you must shift your reason for getting a job from just getting paid to learning tangible skills that are necessary for entrepreneurship. Always reflect on this question. Is what I am doing today getting me closer to who I want to be tomorrow? Most of the wealthy men that are celebrated today did not get rich by solely depending on paychecks. They used the experience from their jobs to mind their own business. 5. Start small. Think big. Although it is essential to start early, first with your limited resources, your thoughts about your business should never be small. Rich people are not mere business owners. They are entrepreneurs who think big about their businesses. Apple founder Steve Jobs once advised, Start small and think big. Don't worry about too many things at once. Take a handful of simple things to begin with and then progress to more complex ones. Think about not just tomorrow but the future. Put a ding in the universe. 6. Build a network of influence. There is a saying that goes thus, If you hang around 6 rich men, you are the 7th one. If you want to be rich, you must be selective of your company. Build a network of smart people and people who are financially responsible because your network is your net worth. In 2014, Robert Kiyosaki posted a tweet which says, The richest people in the world look for and build networks. Everyone else just looks for jobs. Marinate on that for a minute. Building a network, according to Dan Helbig, is an investment in your business. It takes time and when done correctly, can yield great results for years to come. 7. Have a mentor. If you must succeed, then you must humble yourself under the tutelage of an experienced person or experienced people. A mentor is someone willing to guide you step by step through paths of life that they have undertaken before. The importance of having a mentor cannot be overemphasized. Your mentor exposes you to the things you never knew that you actually could do. This is why Isaac Newton says, If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. 8. Delay gratification. If you want to be rich, then you must learn to delay gratification. You must be committed to foregoing present benefits for long-term benefits. You must learn to make monetary sacrifices for the sake of a greater good. Con Poirot affirmed the concept of delaying gratification when he said, Success awaits those who steadfastly commit to any requisite sacrifice. 9. Don't leave off credit cards. A recent study shows that many people, especially youths, prefer to carry out their financial transactions online via the use of their credit cards. Is much easier and comfortable. However, leaving off credit cards is a big mistake that the rich try to avoid as often as they can. These days, the use of credit cards have significantly skyrocketed as it is encouraged by financial institutions. However, this is of no benefit to the common man. Rather, 
credit card usage benefits the institutions more. The rich understand this, so they try to stay off using credit cards for each of their transactions. 10. Follow the 40-30-20-10 rule. The most common money rule is the Elizabeth Warren's 50-30-20 money rule. The rule states that 50% of your income should go to your basic needs and necessities, such as groceries, shelter, utilities, insurance, and so on. 30% is for your wants, not extravagances, such as clothes, subscription plans, etc. And the remaining 20% should be put into your savings. This is a rule that many successful people have used. However, due to the complexity of this present age and generation, as a young person who aspires to be rich, it is much more efficient for you to apply the new 40-30-20-10 rule. The breakdown is almost the same, only that the percentage for your need is reduced. Here you have 40% for your needs, 30% for your wants, 20% for your savings and investments, and the remaining 10% for an emergency like gadget repair or to lend to a sick friend. This is to avoid you being trapped in a web and spending your savings or getting yourself out. 11. Write your financial goals. In the rat race to financial freedom, Manoj Arora stated that long-term thinking and planning enhances short-term decision-making. Make sure you have a plan of your life, and that includes your financial plan and your mission. What financial feats do you desire to be in the next coming years? In what ways would you generate the finance? What kind of long-term investments do you wish to make? These and many others are questions you ought to ask yourself from the very onset you made up your mind to be rich. Rich men have detailed financial goals and plans from the start, and they work towards meeting up with those goals. 12. Diversify your portfolio For anyone who desires to be rich, diversification is an essential factor. Diversification is not the same as inconsistency. To diversify your portfolio means to invest in various assets that earn the highest return for the least risk. It is a mixture of stock, commodities and fixed income. The reason for diversification is because assets react differently to the same economic event. So, even if one investment fails, the other works. Although a few wealthy men like Warren Buffett do not support the idea of diversification, however, in this age of globalization and spontaneity, young people should diversify their portfolio. This is why Fujio Mitarai says, diversification and globalization are the keys to the future. Still, the choice is yours to make wisely. 13. Keep learning. Learning is a constant task for anyone who does not just want to be rich, but also desires to stay rich. As the business world and every facet of life evolve, for you to continue being relevant, you and your business must also evolve. And this happens only through learning, reading books and magazines, staying updated with happenings around, taking your relevant courses, going for conferences and networking with smart minds, and so on are important ways to learn. This is what Henry Ford says about learning. Anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. The greatest thing in life is to keep the mind young. And just before you go, watch other videos on YouTube. If you are an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we invite you to join our motivational channel. The objective of the channel is to give you daily inspiration so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. We love you.